Good evening, Nelson. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, I have headache. But I okay. How was your weekend? Uh, was a little, a little hard, but I okay, teacher. Okay, great, great. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. In the in the yesterday in the morning, I went to the. I don't know how do you say peluqueria. To the barber shop. Uh, yes, I yesterday I went to with my son. Mm -hmm. I went we went to the barber shop. To the barber shop. All right, interesting. And it was ah. in the morning. That was in the morning. Okay. It was in the morning, and then yes, in the afternoon I I get at, at home. Uh huh. Because I like to I like to rest. I home. I home. I'm at home. Sorry, uh -huh. I prefer, I prefer to stay at, at home. Oh, I see. All right, good. Yes, but and, and also the, the weather was a little difficult yesterday in the in the afternoon. It's it true, was it was rainy. very hot, right? Yes. It was very yes, hot. In 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 uh, where do you live? Are you from San Salvador? No, I'm from Zacatecoluca City. Oh, yeah, it's true. You mentioned you know? that last time. So it was so hot, right? Yes, it's so hot here, teacher. Yeah, I can't imagine, right? So thank you for sharing. Um, How was your weekend, right? So, well, we're going to start the class in a moment. So I can see also here, Joelman. Good evening, okay. Joelman. Good evening, Adriana. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, fine. Good evening. Hello, good evening. We are going to wait just perhaps one more minute to see who else can start um, the class here, and then we can go ahead and continue with the first activity for today, okay? Mm -hmm. We'll see here. By the way, I want to say thank you very much for being here um, on time, right? I truly appreciate your punctuality and responsibility, right? So thank you. Thank you very much for that. Let me just start here. In the meantime, sharing the screen so we can go ahead and verify this right now. Please confirm when you can see the screen, guys. Can you see my screen now? Yes, teacher. All right. Thank you yes. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So what it seem? Okay, let's see here. Let's just start right now with the um first activity for today. Let me know if you can see my new screen. Let's see who else has joined the class. So I can see Erica and I can see um, Ivan. So good evening, good evening. I can also see who else is in the class. I cannot see here. Vanessa, Vanessa. So good evening to everybody else who just joined the class, right? So we are going to uh, start right now by um, something that I really like to practice with, which is going to be a tongue twister, right? Have you practiced with tongue twisters before? No? All right, so don't worry. Oh. In my classes, I like to start the class with a tongue twister because I like to develop the fluency, um, you know, 
is this is going to help you to speak with um, more fluency without making mistakes, pronouncing the words, and taking care of your final sounds as well, right? So let's see right now. Um, well, this is a very easy one. It's one of my favorite ones as well. So let's see. It says, Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. And there you have it. So it's going to be an easy one. So let's see. Do I have any volunteer who wants to help me reading this tongue twister? Mm -hmm. Any volunteer? I will try. All right. Thank you, man. Go for it. <laughs> Betty bought better. But the better was bitter, so very bold, better, better to make the bitter, better, better. <laughs> Thank you very much, right? Good try, but we need to work with the pronunciation of the word butter, which is different from better, right? Let me see here where it's, okay, here it is. So this one right here, it's butter, like with a letter O, like the sound of a letter O, right? Butter. And this one next to that, it's going to be better. Yeah, so it's going to like Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. You want to try one more time, Ivan? Okay. All right, go ahead. Betty bought better, but the better was bitter. So Betty bought better. <laughs> better to make the bitter butter better. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let me make it easier for you so you can see this one. What if I said this one? How would you read that word? Butter. Exactly. That's exactly what you the way you had to pronounce it. Try it one more time. Betty bow butter, but the butter was bitter. So very both. Uh, bother, 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 bother to make to bitter, bother, better. There you go. Exactly, right? So you did it correctly and wonderfully. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. That's good. All right. Now, I, I, Ivan or Ivan, because you were the number one, you were the volunteer. I'm going to give you the power to select the next person. All right. Oh so my who is going to person? Let me see. Let me see. See the victims, victims. <laughs> Please don't call them victims, call them volunteers. <laughs> uh, uh, Lady Ruth Isela Joaquin. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's there. Hello, Ruth. How are you? Hello. Good night. Good evening. So please go ahead and try with this one. You can do it. Very well. <laughs> Very well. Better, but the weather was brighter. Was so very well. Better water to make the bitter water better. Okay. <laughs> you know, same observation. Thank you. Thank you for trying. Thank you for trying. Truly really appreciate it. But we gotta go on this one. The same observation I said before. So this one is how you pronounce it. All right. Like if you read this line right here, how would you pronounce that word? Butter. Butter. Very good. So Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. Try one more time. Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter to make the bitter the butter. Butter better. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Excellent. That was super nice. You did it wonderfully too. All right. So what about you choosing another volunteer? I select um, Vanessa Noemi. Uh-huh. Hello, Vanessa. Hello. Good evening. So let's go for this one. Remember, you have yeah. to say butter, right? Okay. All right. Go ahead, please. Betty, Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. Excellent. Oh, my goodness. Just once. That's nice, nice, nice. All right. 
Thank you, my friend. That was super cute. Now, let's see. Vanessa, please select the next person. Nelson Antonio. Okay, thank you. Hello, hello, Nelson. Hello, Mita. All right. Hey, I again. All right, so let's just try this one. One more time. You can do it. Go ahead. Very bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So, very bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. Butter better. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Nelson, you are going to select now the last volunteer. All right. Let me hold man is there. Joman, Joman. Mr. Holman. Joman. I mean, it is in the class, but maybe he went to the restroom. Okay. Oh, Hi. hello, Joman. He's there. Uh, yes. Um, very, very bow batter, but the butter was bitter so betty bought butter butter to make the bitter 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 better all right awesome so that was actually super good thank you thank you thank you thank you very much for that one all right so well we're going to stop right here with this activity everybody you did a very good job just remember how do you pronounce that word it's not better it's butter 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 all right Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You see, with those um, simple activities, we can continue practicing pronunciation, right? Now we are going to go to the class so we can start today with uh, the topic, right? So and let's see what's next here. Let's see here. Whoops. There you go. That one. Um, everybody here, this is going to be our topic for today, right? It's actually a grammar topic, but we have a lot of things to talk about. So please pay attention because it's not difficult because it's not difficult, it's super easy, but you need to pay attention to it, right? So you don't get confused, which is going to be the correlative conjunctions. Everybody, please repeat it. Correlative conjunctions. Let me hear you. Correlative, correlative conjunction. conjunction. There you go, excellent. You know, sometimes when we actually access uh, to a class and we listen to those the um, difficult names, right? So uh, we don't understand what is a conjunction, but do you guys know what is a conjunction? Do you know it? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Any idea? No? Maybe maybe when you join two sentences or so. that is actually correct. You know that is a conjunction, all right? A conjunction it is actually that it's what it says: a word used to connect clauses or sentences or to coordinate words in the same clause, right? So to organize ideas in one single sentence, right? That is actually how you say a conjunction. I'm going to be leaving all those uh, details, right, in the WhatsApp group so you can check them later, right? Because sometimes I just like type them here in the chat from the class, right? But you actually forget to copy uh, this on, on your notes. Um, so then we forgot this one. On the other hand, if it is in the WhatsApp group, it's going to be there so you can check it later. All right, let's start with this one. So we have some of them right here. We have different ones. We're going to actually pay attention to this one. All right. So join words or phrase of equal weight. It says right here. Now, um, let's just go for this one. The number one, the number one, the number one, which is going to be the one right here. This one. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Yes, both and. When are we going to use this one? So both and. It's actually uh, two separate words that we're going to use in two different positions during the, I mean, through the sentence. And uh, we are going to use it to talk about two options that are possible. Listen to this carefully. Two options that are possible, right? 
So for example, it says right there, if you pay attention in this one, uh, in this example, the, um, the use of both is at the beginning of the sentence, which means both the office and the library are open, right? Just to say those type of things. So for example, all right, um, how do you say it like this one? Um, how do you say it in English? Marcos y Jose, ambos son mis amigos. How do you say that? Mm -hmm. Both Marcos and Jose are my friends. There you go. Thank you. That was Carla, right? Good evening, Carla. Yeah, good evening. All right. That's correct. So, or how do you say, for example, um, ambos, la, um, las pupusas y los tamales son del Salvador. How do you say that? Both pupusas and tamales are from, from El Salvador. From El Salvador, exactly, right? So you can say that one right there. Thank you very much. Both, all right, we says this one. Pupusas and tamales are from El Salvador. So we can say this one, or both. All right, Acajutla and Isalco are from Sonsonate. So we can have this one. I'm leaving all those examples in the WhatsApp group, people, so you can actually um, keep them uh, there for a longer time, all right? And um, so you can check that one as well. Uh, and how do you say, for example, um, I mean, we can use a different structure, actually, to use both ends. For example, how do you say, me gustan ambas? La Pepsi y la Coca-Cola. How do you say that? Me, teacher. Uh -huh. Go ahead. I like both Very good. Pepsi and Coca-Cola. Super nice. That's another way, another structure to use it. So remember, the sentences are not going to start all the time with both. That is one of examples or one of the structures we can use. The second one, or the one basically that you uh, Nelson said, I like both Coca-Cola and Pepsi. So uh, it's another way to use this one, all right? Are we clear with this first uh, conjunction, people? Can I continue with the next one? Or do you have questions about the first one? Hello, hello? No, no, no. No question. No okay. question. Thank you. All right. So let's just continue with the second one, which is not only, but also. Repeat everybody. Not only, but also. Please let me hear you. No, not no, only, no, but, but also. All right. Excellent. And then we go for this one. What's the meaning of this one? As you can see here, all right, what it says, this one creates emphasis. Ooh, I can also say this one, so I'm gonna change it for this one. That's better, create emphasis, all right? So when we wanna say, uh, you know, the equivalent of Spanish is going to be when you said like, uh, for example, if I wanna say, eh, Carla no solo es amable, sino también muy inteligente. So for example, that I uh, just said in Spanish, like sino también, it's actually what we're going to say here, not only, but also, right? So not only is going to be in Spanish, no solamente, right? Pero incluso, o además de, right? And you go for the next one. For example, the one we have there, Kim is the only kind, but she is also smart, right? Um, how do you say, for example, um, Peter no solamente es de El Salvador, sino también. Aha, just to see if you're paying attention. <laughs> All right. Peter no solamente de El Salvador, sino también de um, San Salvador. How do you say that? Uh, 
<laughs> hmm? Hello? On you. Hello, hello. Sorry, Peter, teacher. Uh huh. Not only are some salvo. Ah, that would be the bird to be. So it would be not like Peter. It's not only for El Salvador. Well, you know what? Let me just change this one for uh, something easier. Perhaps I will like restructure the sentence in a better way. You know, something simple. All right. How do you say, for example, Peter no solo tiene una casa en San Salvador, sino también una en Sonsonate, for example. How do you say that? Peter no solo tiene una casa en San Salvador, sino también una en Sonsonate. How do you say that? Maybe not, not only a house in San Salvador, mm -hmm. but also it's a Sonsonate. All right. Let me just help you with this one. Any other any other version of the sentence? Mm -hmm. How would you say this one? Any other version? Where are the places, teacher? San Salvador and Sonsonate. So it could be Peter not only has a house in San Salvador, but it, but also he has a house in Sonsonate. Yes, like that one. All right. So let me just share that to the group so you can see it. Peter not only has a house in San Salvador, but also in Sonsonate. So you can see that as well right there. Thank you. All right. This is how we are structuring this one. All right. Eh, or how do you say, for example, Maria no solamente tiene un carro, sino también una moto. How do you say that? Mm -hmm. Maria mm -hmm. not only has a car, but also moto. But also a motorcycle. A motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, exactly, a motorcycle. Maria not only has a car, but also a motorcycle, right? There you go. Excellent. So then you have it, right? So remember, people, I'm typing all those examples in the WhatsApp group so you can check them later, right? So excellent. So you did it good on this one. Questions about not only, but also? Questions, questions about not only, but also? No questions. No questions. All right, excellent. Well, I hope you don't have questions because in a moment, I will have a lot of questions for you. All right, so let's continue. And this one, uh, either or. Please let me hear everybody repeat it, either or. Either or. Either or. Very no, good, no. excellent. Did you know that that word also has a double pronunciation? It could be either or it could be as well a different one there. Either. It could be either, depending on, um, you know, how some people pronounce that one, right? So it could be either, either or either, right? So um, we can actually keep the one that says either, so that's not a problem. So we can actually see that all right so what is this one for it's going to be um when we're talking about um you know two options two alternatives and we need to choose between them all right so let's say for example when you go out with your friends or with your couple and then you ask your friends or your couple what do you want to eat and then your friend or your couple is like, I don't know. And they can say, I can either eat hamburgers or pizza, right? So they are just giving you the two options right there. All right. So, but for example, how would you say in Spanish, I can either 
bake cookies or buy a cake? How would you say that one? Like the example you have right in front of you. How would you translate that to Spanish? Mm -hmm. Hello? Puedo hornear eh, galletas o comprar un pastel. Okay. Un pastel, very good, excellent, all right? So, and that's actually, you know, as, as simple as that, right? So you're talking about the two options or the two activities that you can do. So the example we have on the screen right now, it says, puedo hornear galletas o comprar un pastel, all right? So eh, how do you say, for example, podemos comer ya sea pizza o hamburguesa? How do you say that? Mm -hmm. How do you say, podemos comer ya sea pizza o hamburguesa? We can either eat pizza or hamburger. Hey, that's actually a correct one. Who was that? Me. <laughs> oh, hello. All right. So, yeah, that's easy. So, you can go and say this one. And that was correct, by the way. So, uh, as she said before, is we can either... We can eat either pizza or hamburgers. So that is actually correct as well. All right. So you see, this one is super easy. Super, super easy. All right. So, and then we have the opposite, which is the next one. All right. Which is neither and nor. I want you to pay attention to something here, which is important. And it's the difference on this one. So remember that in Spanish, we have, a, for example, this one we were saying here before or, which it means o, when you're talking about options, right? Esta o esta, that's a, an option, so you're saying or. But then you have the word nor, 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 that we are going to use it as a negative um, word to talk about a negative statement, okay? So, and then you go and say like this, what's the meaning of nor? Nor, into Spanish, it would be something similar to say, for example, ni. All right. So when you're talking about, yeah, the two options, but in a negative way. So for example, oh, and by the way, when you're using neither, you don't use any other negative auxiliary. You don't need to say, for example, if you want to say, no me gusta, you normally you will say, I don't like, right? But oh. if you're using neither, you are not going to use don't. You are going to use only I like. Why not? Because you are using neither and nor, which both of them are telling you that the idea is negative. Like the example we have here. In this one, it says, Mark, it's neither a singer nor an actor. And how would you translate this sentence, ladies and gentlemen? Mark is neither a singer nor an actor. How would you translate that into Spanish? Can you tell me? Hello, hello? Marcos no es, no, Marcos ni, ni canta ni es, ni, ni es actor. All right. Yeah, in a way it is like that one. So that would be just like Marcos no es ni cantante, Ni actor. All right. That's how you translate it. Let's actually give a Salvadorian example here so we can understand this in a better way. So, for example, how do you say, No me gusta ni la pacaya ni la flor de sote. How do you say that in English? Uh huh. Hello, hello. Kind of like, I neither like Pattaya nor uh, the, the other one. La flor de isote o isote. So I neither like Pattaya nor flor de isote. Isote, all right. So like this one, I like neither. So just remember something right here because you say I neither like and it's supposed to be the verb before neither. So it's supposed to be I like neither, okay? Hello, hello? 
Okay. 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 Great. Excellent. So remember, this one is going to be I like neither pacaya nor isote, right? So as you said it before, or let's talk about singers. I don't know you, ladies and gentlemen, but I don't like some reggaeton singers. For example, eh, I would say I like eh, neither Farruko nor Anuel. For example. If you like them, I'm sorry, right? But like, I like neither Farruko nor Anuel. Can you give me your examples of singers you don't like, people? I want to hear you. Mm -hmm. What are the examples? Hello, hello. Hello. Is anybody here in the class with me? Mm -hmm. I don't know about who singers teacher. Oh, nobody likes singers. Oh, you don't know about singers. Oh, you can talk about food. Why not? Food, movies, for example. You know, do you like Star Wars movies, Harry Potter's movies, Jurassic Park movies? I like neither. Mm -hmm. I agree with you, Fatima. Mm -mm, not good for me neither. All right. Uh, hi, Ivan, were you saying something? I like, I like neither. Mm, I, I like neither war. <laughs> Uh, uh, nor, uh, <laughs> uh, nor, um, uh, rest. <laughs> rest. All right. Excellent. Thank All you right. for that example. Like that. that. Thank you for that example, Ivan. That was actually very good. And that gives me the opportunity to make a correction there. Which says when you're talking about verbs or activities, in that case, you're going to use ing. So you're going to say, for example, I like neither working nor resting. Understand? Rest, uh, present, uh, present continuous, right? Like, exactly. The ing version of the board, of the verbs. All right. Okay. Good. Awesome. Any other question? No more questions. I'm sorry, but I'm a little bit. I'm sorry, but I'm a little bit confused with this. All right, tell me, Erica. Yes. What is for, what you for, for me? <laughs> Sorry, for me. I, uh, 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 you say like neither, right? Excuse me. Neither like. You said neither like like. You mean like? I neither like, or I like neither. I, oh, like neither. I don't, <laughs> don't worry. Let me clarify that for you. So you go first with the subject, which in this case is going to be I. Then you're going to use the verb, which in this case is like, and then you use neither. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right. Any other question? Remember that this one neither is about being negative, right? So whenever you express an opinion using a neither nor, so you're actually saying in a negative way. So for example, how will you say, yo no puedo ni manejar ni nadar? How do you say that in English? Hmm? I can neither drive and swim. Yeah, but it's remember that the second word it's no n, it is nor. Mm -hmm. I can yes, I can neither uh I can neither try nor swim. Nor, nor swim. Perfect. You did it perfectly, Erica. So good job. Yeah. All right, teacher. excellent. Uh, do you have more questions? I have a question, teacher. Tell me, Fatima. When the verb is begin beginning. To neither. Excuse me. What was the question? When is the verb? Uh, Pekin. A neither. Pekin? No, antes de neither. Before neither. 
before and either. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So are you asking me why it's like that? Or are you asking me if it is the structure? Uh, like when because because I for the example I like neither. Correct. And the example can is can neither. Correct. The verb can is before near in the very oh, light. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. So thank you, Fatima. I've explained to you what happens in that example with the use of can. What happens there is remember that can is a mother verb, right? So, and as a mother verb, you need another verb because you cannot only say can. If you said, oh, you know what, teacher? I can. It's going to be like, you can what? You can swim, you can dream, you can uh, whatever, right? So that's the reason why when you're using a mother verb, like in the example of can, it is necessary to add a verb. But in this case, the verb is going to be after either. Understand? So for example, I don't want to like confuse you. Take a look at this one. In the example of like, it says, I like neither. Right? So you can see the chat. I like neither. However, there is no, there is no mother verb there, right? So you're not using can. You see that? All right. So, but if you use can, you will see like. Swim. Like this one. That's your question, right? Like, why is like that? That's what you were asking, right, Fatima? Yes. Yes, all right. So the reason there, it's because of the mother verb. So as you can see in the first one, there is no can, so there is no mother verb, all right? In the second one, you're using the mother verb can, you're talking about an ability, right? And then you, when that happens, you can use that after the um, conjunction neither, because it's like, I can neither swim nor drive. So we're talking about this one, just because of the use of can. That's the difference, the use of can. Okay. Did, I, did I answer your question or you need me to explain that again? So. So, so. All right, yeah. no problem. Let me, if you don't mind people, let me use a little bit of Spanish so you can understand this one in a better way. Is that okay? All yes. right. So, la razón por la cual, like, eh, eh, va antes de neither y en el segundo ejemplo swim va después es por el uso del verbo auxiliar can en el primer ejemplo simplemente estamos hablando de una preference so I like for example neither eh, pacaya nor isote we said that one que quiere decir no me gusta ni este ni el otro en this one we're talking about an ability en el segundo estamos hablando de una habilidad por eso utilizamos el, el auxiliar el verbo auxiliar can as I was saying before, que no se puede utilizar solamente él nada más. No puedo decir I can, because if I said solo I can, me queda inconclusa la idea, right? Entonces, como decir, por ejemplo, si yo te digo en Spanish, eh, you know, Fatima, yo puedo, pero yo puedo what? I can drive, I can dance, I can sing, etc., right? Entonces, en este caso, de este structure, so we're going to use I can, then neither, and then after neither, we use the verb, but it is because I'm using can, just because of that, all right? So, for example, if you use another verb, all right, so um, let's say, for example, if we talk about past and you say, like, for example, uh, how do you say, yo no viajé ni a México ni a Guatemala? How would you say that, Fatima? Yo no viajé ni a México ni a Guatemala. Remember, now we are in past. The structure is the same. Lo único que cambiará will be the verb. It's going to be in past. How do you say yo viajé, yo no viajé, perdón, ni a México ni a Guatemala? Mm -hmm. I neither travel Mexico nor Guatemala. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. You said, for example, I neither travel, right? All right, yes. excellent. Now, let me ask you, are we using a mother verb here? Estamos usando un verbo auxiliar? 
No. no, entonces, ¿dónde debería ir el verbo? ¿Antes o después de neither? Después de neither. It was before. Before. Like the first example. Do you see the, do you see the chat, Fatima, right now? Yes. All right. Can you tell me what is the first example you see on the chat? I like neither. Okay, excellent. And how do you translate that into Spanish? No me gusta. No me gusta. No me gusta. Ni. No. Okay, no me gusta ni. Ajá, exactly, right? Entonces, let's change the verbs. How would you say, yo no viajé ni a México ni a Guatemala? Uh -huh. I travel near Mexico. Mexico. Nor Guatemala. Nor Guatemala. That is how you apply it. You got it now? Yes. Yeah. All right, exactly. So remember, the reason why you saw it in a different way, like for example, in the second sentence you can see in the chat, I can either swing or nor dance, for example. It is because you're using the modal verb can, just because of that. You're talking about ability. Any other verb is going to have the same structure as the first sentence. Okay, thank you. Awesome. You're welcome, Fatima. Remember, this is for everybody. If you have questions about any of the structures, please. Tell me, I will be more than happy to explain to you, but because I don't want you to go back, um, you know, to leave the class. I'm sorry and saying like I didn't understand or it was confused or anything like that. So don't worry, okay? If you have questions, feel free to ask. So, do you have any other question? No. Click, clear like or chat. Oh my goodness! <laughs> All right, so <laughs> we will see right now in the test what happens here let's go for the last one which is whether or to introduce possibilities so what will be the meaning of whether or people repeat with me please let me hear you whether or let me hear you whether or, whether or. all right <laughs> like this one and what is whether or people like for example it says mail is delivered whether it rains or snows what would be only weather? Mm -hmm. How would you how would you understand that sentence? Mail is deliver whether it rains or snows. Mm -hmm. Any idea about how to say this one? No, teacher. No. What is the liver? Enviado. ¿En qué? Enviado. Enviado. All right. So, el correo será enviado. Uh -huh. Ya sea llueva o trueno. Llueva o nieve. All right. So, yes. That's what it says right here. El correo será entregado. Eh, ya sea, o tanto sí, you know, because if you go to the translator, te lo va a traducir así como like, tanto sí, you know, but actually we say it in our Salvadoran Spanish, we normally say, um, ya sea que, all right, so, for example, this one, um, how, how do you say this one? Let's see who can tell me this one. How do you say, yo iré a la fiesta, ya sea que me inviten o no? Yo iré a la fiesta, ya sea que me inviten o no. How do you say that? Uh -huh, uh -huh. To iré... me, I will go to the party. Uh -huh. Whether they invite me or not. Or not. Or perfect. don't. That was perfectly uh -huh. translated. Okay. Correct, correct, correct. I will go to the party whether they invite me or not. All right. So that's actually correct. There we go. There we go. All right. Or like, how do you say, for example, um, um, let's say this one. How do you say, yo iré a la playa Ya sea que llueva, que llueve, perdón, o esté soleado. Uh 
Ajá. Vamos a check in the vocabulary as well. How do you say estar soleado? Sunny day. It's a sunny day. Very good. So, how do you say? Yo iré a la playa, sea que llueve o esté soleado. Any idea? I'm waiting for you. Hello, hello. I try to teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I going at the beach, whether it's rain or or. How do you say it's soleado? <laughs> <laughs> How do you say soleado, people? Sunny. Sunny. All right. I'm going to the. I'm going. I'm going at the beach, whether it's rain or sunny. All right, excellent. That is almost correct because remember, you're going. You are going to say, um, "I'm going to the beach." All right. So, which is like this one. You can check the WhatsApp group, for example, where it says, "I'm going to the beach, whether it's rainy or sunny," which it means you're at la playa. All right. Do you see the WhatsApp group? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. I see. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So there you have it. I'm going to the beach, whether it's raining or sunny. So you go on this one. So that's actually how the conjunctions work. But well, ladies and gentlemen, so what are we going to do right now? It's going to be very simple. We are going to be working here on some um, exercises here so we can check this one. So let's see. One second. Okay, so, oops, that's too much. There you go. Excellent. So, do you see the exercises, people? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yep. Don't worry. I will send this uh, e picture or this image to the WhatsApp group so you can see this in a better quality. All right. So, we will have 10 questions there so you can actually um, decide you know, if there is the correct, which is the correct answer. So in every sentence, you will have two blank spaces like this one, when you guys are going to uh, fill those spaces using the option A or the option B. So you need to uh, read the sentence, try to understand the context and finally decide which sentence, I mean, which is the correct answer there. All right. How are you going to do that one? We are going to go to the breakup rooms, all right? And then you are going to um, work with someone there. So you can actually see this one. So we're gonna have here five breakup rooms, automatically set. It's gonna be one room with three people and then everybody else working in couples. All right, excellent. Do you have any question before we go to the rooms? No questions? Okay, everybody, please join the rooms. I will send the image to the WhatsApp group right now. Please move to the groups. Let me see here, very good, everybody getting there. Perfect, so let's see who else. All right, so who's here? 
Hello, Joe, man. What happened, Joe, man? You're supposed to be in the room number one. Joe, man, Joe, man. Hello, hello, Mr. Joman. Joman Saul Hiron Sanchez, can you hear me? Well, we've got to move Samantha to room number four. Lucy, Vanessa, and oh my goodness, gentlemen, you're too late for that one. Erika, room number four. Hello, hello, Lucy, where are you? Vanessa, are you there? Okay, Vanessa, we'll be working in the breakup rooms. Please stay in the class. Hello. Hi. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, Erica. Hello. Hello. Do you have um, the image in the WhatsApp group? Actually, in this phone, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There is where I set the exercise. Can someone project it, perhaps? Can someone share the Maybe screen? Hmm. I can't. Mm. Read the sentence below the circle, the correlative conjunction and complete. Is the 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 imaging? Yeah, the last the image I sent. Mm -hmm. Okay, Erica, uh, we we have to work in in the picture mm -hmm. on in WhatsApp. Yes, but I don't have that WhatsApp in this phone. Ah, sorry. Uh, can you can you share? Can you share the picture? I, I cannot share it because when I move to a different classroom, I mean, to a different room, so it's going to disappear from here. So it's better if you actually share it. Mm. Teacher, can you, can you send it to this chat, please? Sure. Huh? Let me oh, oh, here it is. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Thank you, Joe, man. So go ahead. Uh, <laughs> read the sentence below. So let's see. Number one, it says Alex Carlos tried out for the school play. So whether or or both ends. Which one is in your opinion? Let it be. 
Letter B. Erica says letter B. What do you think, gentlemen? Yes. Letter B. That is actually correct because you're saying like Alex, I mean, ambos. Alex y Carlos. All right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. So you can continue in that way with all of them. All right. Okay. Excellent. Let me go to a different room right now to see how the guys are doing. Thank you. All right. I can go to Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Do you have questions? Mm, I have a question. Tell me. What is the translation for either or? It could be either like ya sea que. Ya sea que. So what is the main difference with this one, teacher? Which one? With either in weather. Yeah, they share actually um the meaning, right? So for example, either you clean, all right. So you know, in the number two, if you said it either or it says Olympias tu cuarto o te quedas en la casa. Understand? Okay, okay. So either has like a double um uh, meaning, you know, because remember, for example, uh, when we said me gusta ya sea la coca o la Pepsi, we said I like either Pepsi or Coca Cola. So it changes mm -hmm. depending on the context. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. So number five. I can go to the movies on Saturday. I can go to the mall. Mm. I think letter B because I think that is that we have two options. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Peter. This one. I think A. Not only. I oh, don't know. Not only. I can go to the movies on Saturday. But also. If you select that one, so that would be like, no solo puedo ir a la, al cine el sábado, sino también puedo ir al centro comercial. That's how you translate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, ladies, tell me, which one would you choose? For me, it's letter B. <laughs> I think that we have two options. In right. Not only, but also is to make emphasis. Exactly, right? It You know, it's more similar to number two, actually, where it says like, o limpias tu cuarto o te quedas. That was sounds like, for example, o puedo ir a las películas o puedo ir al cine, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, al, al centro comercial. So, yes, mm -hmm. it goes like that. Okay. Number five. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. You're answering the other one. So, girls, <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to um go to a different room. All right. So, if you have questions, please call me. Right. So, I'll be back immediately. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Okay.
Um, birds. Just in Thai teacher. Hello, you have questions? Yes, in the number seven. seven. Number seven, let me see. Okay, just to clarify, guys, if you see me looking at, to this side, it's because I have double screen. So this is where I have the camera, and this is a second screen here. So okay, let me no see. problem. Number, which one you said? Number seven. seven. Number seven, Paula found neither. Not only. Uh -huh. You know what? The secret is that you have two spaces there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the secret. Paula Fong, Paula Fong, not only the shoes she had lost, but also her favorite jacket. So yeah, definitely it's letter B, not only, but also. Okay. Yes, we are, we are confused about it. Okay. But do you have any other questions so I can help you right now? Mm -hmm. Yes, because in number three, we think, we think it's not only, but also, but only have one space. Not only we go home, but also stay and in number three. Mm, no, we, number three. Is, no, I, I, I wouldn't choose not only, but also in number three. I will go for weather because you're talking about like, remember, all right, or, or, or we like like two options, all right, so that we that it can happen, right? O nos quedamos en la casa, o nos quedamos en el parque. And if you pay attention to the sentence, it says, la verdad no importa. It says there, it doesn't matter to me. No importa para mí. Mm -hmm. So because of mm -hmm. that specific sentence, I will say like it's, whether or because it says like whether we go home or stay at the park it doesn't matter okay mm -hmm. because remember that uh, not, only, not only but also it emphasizes right so like for example in the seven it actually applies perfectly because it says no solo encontró la chaqueta sino también los zapatos que había perdido right there's like no options it's just like <clears throat> emphasizing in two things she found uh, I, I I didn't understand understand very well what is weather or sure no problem I can explain that to you right now here all right when you have here weather or all right so let's see here uh let me see some examples right here that I can send to you okay. So one second. Okay. So let's see this one. Okay, here I have it. So it says here the following, right? So I will just send um this one to the group so you can see this one right here uh whether or it, it has actually a very similar meaning to the other ones we have right here which is actually a uh, similar to a uh, c o you know mm. all right so like for example number three si nos quedamos si nos vamos a casa o nos quedamos aquí la verdad no importa mm -hmm. you know or um, si comemos hamburguesa o comemos pizza, it's okay, right? Whether we eat pizza or, or hamburger, we are okay. For example, that's how you say it. And uh, this one, for you to like understand this easily, it's when you're going to use it, talking about two, op about two options, but you don't really matter about the result. You know, for example, if I said, eh, hey, Carla, what would you like to drink? Would you like some coffee or tea? And you tell me like, teacher, whether you have tea or coffee, it's okay for me. 
Mm. Ahí si tiene café o té, no importa, ¿no? Right? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Any other question? Yes, teacher. Tell me, please. Uh, could you give uh, other examples using either and or? Either, either or. And or, which is actually the one similar to this one, all right? This one is as well. It's kind of similar to the one we were saying before, but this one is just like we're talking about like uh, two possibilities, right? So, but in this one, you know, and I, I just explained, for example, about weather. Ahí cualquiera de las dos posibilidades, it's okay, you know? So, but with either, it's just one or the two options, right? So, for example, in number two, what it says, like, either you clean your room or you will stay at home. In this example, you're saying, like, o limpias el cuarto o te quedas en la casa. So, you're saying, like, oh, oh, you know? All right, so, or the examples we had in, in the class, like, like in the presentation, right? So, but either or. Um, in this one, el que se acabo de dar es uno de los ejemplos, right? The second one, it could be the one it says right here. I can either bake cookies or bake a cake, which is also meaning ya sea. All right, so, for example, I can uh, either cook or bake ya puedo, yo puedo ya sea cocinar o hornear right that's how you say it would that be clear Nelson for you yes teacher all right can you give thank an example you. no only that thank you can you give an example ah uh, maybe Either, either I I going to work or I can't eat anything. I don't know. I stay at home, all right? Yeah, you're actually saying this one. You know what? That either is also used, like, for example, when you're trying to give a warning, así como una advertencia, all right? So imagine, for example, that you have a friend, right? And your friend is telling you now, so... I need you to go to the store and that also you go to the supermarket. So you Nelson said like something, ah, no, I'm sorry. Either I go to the store or to the supermarket, pero no los dos. You know what I'm saying? In that context. Okay. All right. Awesome. Any other question? If not, I will go to a different um, room. For me, no, teacher. Thank okay. you. I don't know. Arla. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, well, you haven't finished, or did you finish already? No. Okay. Number Don't worry. Six. Continue with the exercise. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Para fútbol este año ni tomó lecciones de de baile. Hello. Oh, you're Hello. talking about the number ten, right? Yeah. Number <laughs> help in the number five. Oh, number five. Aha, uh -huh. tell me. What what is the question you have in number five? No, number four. Number Sorry. Four. Okay, let's see. Okay. Uh, say say this she will on okay. her math test. She got um of her social studies report. You said numbers number what you said, so excuse me. Number four. Number four. Ah, all right. Yeah. Did she do well yes. on her math test? But she got uh, um, excellent. And ah, on her what? social students. That is very easy. You know the secret? The secret is in the spaces. Spaces. You see? Because how many spaces do you have in number four at the beginning? Ah, oh, okay. I got a letter B, right? Correct. Not only did she do well on her math, but she also got A on her social studies report, which it means que no solo salió bien en el examen de matemática, pero incluso ella obtuvo un 10 
en su reporte de estudios sociales. Teacher, but, mire, en, en el whether or dijo que era es, ya sea que, ya sí, sea en buen salvadoreño. Uh -huh. Ya sea que, y la otra es whether or, ya sea que, tarará, o, así sería. They yeah. use the weather in the number 10. In the number 10. 10. All right, excellent. Yes, it definitely is whether or. Yeah. I explained to you why. First of all, because we're talking about two options, right? I can't decide whether to play this soccer this year or to take the dance lessons. No puedo decidirme, ya sea, ya sea tomar, eh, perdón, ya sea jugar fútbol este año o tomar clases de danza. All right, so in, let me tell you another secret why it cannot be letter A. No puede ser letter A porque letter A is neither and oh. neither it's negative. Oh. Y yo ya tengo negative oh. al principio. Se fijan y says I can't. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the reason why it cannot be neither. It definitely have to be weather. Mm -hmm. So questions? Yeah, yeah. In sentence nice is a... Uh... Uh, but and eh? letter A, letter A in, num in what number? Excuse me, uh, number nine, teacher. Number nine, you said letter A, yeah, yeah, that is correct. You got it correctly, mm -hmm. letter A. Mm -hmm. See, yeah, in that one, it cannot be either because it cannot be. Ya sea mi estéreo, mi televisión, right? So it has to be ambos. Mi tele y mi, te y mi radio uh -huh. dejaron de funcionar. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. I know, I know. It's a little confusing, but you know, you need practice. All right? And with practice, yeah. you actually um, improve this one. It means better for you. All right? Any other In question? Number nine? Number Letter nine? eight. Letter A, correct. Letter Both. Eight. Okay. That is correct. That is correct. 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 So questions, questions. No, not teacher. No I confuse the, the user weather. The use of weather. You confuse it. Weather. In the use. Okay. For example, in the number uh -huh. nine or ten. Mm -hmm. In the example. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry. Let me explain to you here. Por eso estamos aquí en estas sessions where we are only a few, so a few, so we can actually take advantage of that. So remember that weather presents two possibilities, right? So, um, for example, in number 10, it says, no puedo decidirme, all right? So it says, I can decide there, all right? It says, let me just type in here so I can say it to the group. I can decide whether... It says I can decide whether to play soccer, whether to play soccer or to take, it says, right? To take dance lessons. To take dance lessons. All right. So in this one right here, um, you need to understand something here quickly, uh, sorry, uh, oh. perfectly. And it's like, it doesn't have only one meaning. It can have double meaning. You know, el significado puede ser. Uh, como en el, let me share the screen right here. So you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, do you see the screen? No. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. All right. All right. Let's go at the, at the bottom here where it says whether or. Cuando decía que el correo es entregado, whether it rains or snows. Entonces en ese sería para entender nosotros. For example, mail is delivered whether it rains or snows. So that would be. All right. Um, for example, in this one right here, it says, el correo se entrega, ya sea que llueva o nieve. Ahí en ese, like, en el último, it will be uh, el significado, ya sea que. You know? 
porque el examen por así no lo dice. El correo será entregado, ya sea que llueva o nieve. Entonces, ese es uno de los significados de weather. All right. El otro sería sí, pero sí like the possibilities, you know. So, for example, en el ejemplo número 10 dice, no puedo decidir si jugar fútbol o tomar clases de baile. Understand what happens right there? Tenemos una misma expression con doble significado depending on the context. All right? Why? Mm -hmm. Because, okay. así como muchas otras palabras in English, right? So, it has double meaning as well. So, for example, no me puedo quedar solo con el significado de ya sea que, porque si lo trato de aplicar el example 10, entonces sería como like, no puedo decidir ya sea que jugar fútbol. Entonces, ahí doesn't make sense. Yes or no? Yes, definitely. Yes. Ah, yes. Exacto. Yes. Right. Eh, weather tiene double meaning. Puede significar ya sea que o puede significar sí when it comes to possibilities, right? Si es esto o lo otro, si voy aquí o voy allá, si hago esto o hago lo otro. ¿Y cuál es, la ¿Cuál es la diferencia con el if? Ya que el, el, el if es, es similar, es express the possibility. Which one you said? O sea, if, 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 si. Ah, ok, yes, I got it. In that case, eh, if is used for conditionals, you know, ah. en las condicionales, right? For example, el condicional que dice, si tuviera dinero, compraría un carro. If I had money, I would buy a car. So en los condicionales, you use if. In a regular mm -hmm. sentence, you use whether. Mm, sí, sí, es cierto. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Conditional, uh -huh. if is conditional. Uh -huh. Correct, right. uh -huh. correct, correct, correct. Okay. Any other question? No questions. No questions. All right. No problem. Thank you. So I'm going to, well, we're going to go back to the main class right now so we can finish with the exercise. Oh my goodness. Tonight, everybody will go bed. We go to bed with the havoc because of too many grammar. I mean, too much grammar. Sorry. Let's <laughs> see. All right. Let's go back to this main class. Okay. See. Okay, everybody, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So we are going to um check here this one. So let me just quickly verify what is going on here. Oh, there you go, excellent. So, all right, everybody, I know this has been a little bit hard. You know, I understand that grammar can be sometimes confusing. And I guess... One of the reasons why this has been confusing is because of the meaning sometimes the sentences can have depending on, on the grammar structure that we are using, right? But don't worry, people. That's why we're here to clarify any question you have. And if you still have questions after we finish this exercise, please feel free to ask. I'm here to help you. Then let's go for this one right here. I need a volunteer, everybody. Volunteer for number one. Who's going to be my volunteer for number one? Please tell me. Teacher. Okay, please go ahead, Nelson. Read it. Both, both Alex and Carlos try try out for the school play. Thank you very much. That is actually correct. All right. So, uh, do you guys have a different answer? Oh. No, no, totally correct. Totally correct. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Nelson, for the first answer. So who's my volunteer for the second one? 
Hello, hello, por un tier for the second one. Hello, hello. Me teacher. All right, go ahead. Either you clean your room or you will stay home this weekend. Thank you very much. And I have a question just by curiosity. Why did you decide to use either and no neither? In, in Spanish? Uh-huh. Es... Si no limpias tu cuarto, um, no, o limpias tu cuarto o tú estarás en casa este, este fin de semana. There you go, exactly, right? So, there you go, you understood that correctly. Thank you, that is very good. You know what? Help me and select the next person. Um, Erika. Okay, Erica, are you there? Yes, I am. All right, so tell me what's number three. That's for you. The number three? Uh -huh, please. Number three? Uh -huh. Whether we go home or stay at the park doesn't matter to me. All right, excellent. That is actually correct. Thank you. What about number four? Number four? Oh, Erica, please select the next person. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay, go ahead. Joelman. <laughs> uh, no, uh, B. Mm -hmm. Can you read it? Like, can you read the complete sentence? Uh, not only, not only did did she do well on her math math test, but also, but she, but also she, she got an. Uh, she got an A on her social studies report. Studies report. Excellent. So the correct answer is letter B. Is that right? Yeah. Thank you very much. Now, can you please help me in selecting the next person? Um, well, um, Eva. Okay, hello. Okay. Uh, either, either, or, either, or I can go to the movie on Saturday. No, no, no. Either I can to the movies on Saturday or I can go, go to this mall. To the mall, all right? So it's either, right? Yes, that's correct. Thank yes. you very much. Okay, uh, Ivan, can you help me to select the next person? The next volunteer. Um, Adriana. Hello, Adriana. Hello. Okay. Uh, I think it's, num it's uh, letter A. I found both my homework and my net, my textbook on the kitchen counter. That is actually correct. You did it correctly right there. All right. So thank you. Uh, you select the next person, Adriana, please. Mm, let me see. Um, Carla. <laughs> All right, Carla. What number? It's number seven. Seven. Paula found not only the shoes she had lost, but also a favorite jacket. The favorite jacket, exactly, all right? So you did it correctly. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. Now, Carla, please select the next person. 
I, I don't know who teacher because I have lost the connection. Oh, okay. So just tell me a number between one and five. Four? Four, all right. One, two, three, four. Fatima Aguilar. Hello, Fatima. Sorry, teacher. All right, can you help us with the sentence number eight? Um, I have neither the time nor the motivation to play basketball right now. Mm -hmm. Yes or no, people? Hello, hello. What do you think? Teacher, letter A. Letter A. So say, I have neither the time nor the motivation to play basketball. So yeah, letter A, definitely. Thank you very much. So we are missing only two people. So do we have any volunteer? Hello? Me, teacher, for number nine. For number nine. Okay, go ahead, please. But my stereo and my television stopped working last night. Stopped working last night. All right, excellent. Thank you. Yes or no, people? Yes, of course. Of course, he said. I did it. All right, very good. And what about the last one? Volunteer for the last one. Who's going to be my volunteer? Literature. Okay, please go ahead. Uh, I can decide whether to play soccer this year or to take dance lessons. Thank you very much, everybody. Please give an applause to yourself because you have been working so hard on this one. I know the topic has been difficult for you, but you have been working really, really good on this one. And the answers you gave me were all correct. I didn't have to correct you at all. All right. Super good job. Now, let's just continue with the next part right here. So look, this is in your manual. So you can see this one. From all those that we were checking, we are going to actually have only two right here, which has like, like the most confusing ones, either or, all right? So we go on this one. It says, either or presents a choice between two options. The verb which follows two subjects joined by or must agree with the second subject. For example, it says right there, millennials are either self-entitled or self-centered, right? Either John or Rick, it's going to prepare the progress report on the project. We already checked that one and we actually understand this one. For example, let's see. If we, I want to ask you this one, ladies and gentlemen. How would you translate this sentence into Spanish? Let's see if you understood this correctly. How would you understand that one? How do you translate it? Can someone tell me? Hmm? Hello, hello? Hello? Uh, uh, I don't understand the word self-entitled. Self-centered is, is like a, it's like in Spanish, egocentric, right? Uh -huh. Self-entitled, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. All right, don't worry. So this one, it's a, a compound word, which it means, um, for example, also this one. I will share the meaning right now in the group so you can have it here. All right. Okay. So this one, it's um self entitled self. Sorry, entitlement. It's just like um you know it doesn't really have a correct translation right here, but it's just like this one. You know, it's someone they believe they deserve happiness at expense of others. You know what? I guess like the best example would be selfish. Yeah. 
All right. So like this one, because they believe that they deserve happiness even at the expenses at the expense of others. All right. And the other one, which was their uh, self center, like that one, which is egocentrico y egoísta. That's actually what it means. Self entitled, egoísta, and self center, egocentrico. Understand? Self entitled, egoísta. Correct. Um. Like selfish, right? <laughs> and self center is like egocentrico, right? Egocentrico. Okay, excellent. Now that you understand the meaning of those two words, tell me what's the meaning of the full sentence in Spanish? <clears throat> I don't know, teacher, but I will try. Okay, go ahead. Los millennials son o egoístas o egocéntricos. Okay, you have OO. All right, very good. Anybody else? Uh -huh. Los millennials son egoístas o egocéntricos. Uh -huh. so le quitamos una O. Mm -hmm. All right. What about the rest? Los millennials o son egoístas o egocéntricos. So yeah, I guess that will be the best translation to say in O. All right. So. Millennials are o son así o son así. So very good. So you understood that correctly. Now let's go with the second one right here. The second sentence that we have right here, which it says, either John or Rick, it's going to prepare the progress report on the project. How would you translate the second one? Mm hmm Hello, hello. How will you translate the second one? Talk, talk. No hello, solamente hello. yo, sino Rick. Luis. <laughs> están preparando el progreso del reporte. El progreso del reporte o el reporte del progreso? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so very good. Entonces, uh, how would you translate it? Because to me, it says like, ya sea John or Rick. Yes or no, people? Yes. That is correct. Eso se lo explicaba. I was explaining this to some of your classmates when they were actually saying like they got confused between the meanings. And I said it has a double meaning. For example, in the number one, it says los milenias o son así O son asa. So as you could hear, this one is o, o. In the second one, it says like, either John or Rick is going to prepare the report. Ya sea John o ya sea Rick, van a preparar el reporte. And so this is like the meaning changes according to the context, but they are using exactly the same combination of words, either or. So is that clear, people? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go with the next one, ladies and gentlemen, which is going to be weather or. All right, it says right here that weather or it's used to express doubt of choice. Pay attention to this one carefully here. And at primera, it says express, sorry, presents choice between two options. Estamos escogiendo entre dos opciones. And in here, dice que presenta duda para la opción. Uh, between two possibilities, all right? Yeah. It's this right here. The new guy didn't know whether to quit or to keep his job. How would you understand this yeah. question right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Volunteer for that translation of that sentence? Hello, hello? Mm, uh, I creo que... El nuevo chico no sabe si renunciar o mantener su trabajo durante su primer día. That is correct. And I like that you use this one because as you can see, it's used to express doubt. Can you see that? Doubt. 
doubt. Express no. doubt. Exactly. It is used to express doubt. No. That is actually what, what, is, is, what, is, what is translation in this case, the weather. The, el chico nuevo no sabe. Uh -huh. uh, sí. Sí. Yes. It's what I was telling you before, Ivan, which in this case is C, and you were saying like, teacher, what's the ah, difference between this weather okay. and if, remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly. So this is like C for possibilities. Si esto o lo otro, all right? Mm -hmm. Possibility in this case. Exactly. All right, mm -hmm. very good. So this was just for like double check um, the meaning that we had before. Now we're going to go with this one right here. which is here, let's see. Okay, now let's do this one, but let's do it together, all right? So let's go for this one. I will help you with number one, and then I need some other volunteers to help me with this one. On these blank spaces, we are going to use either or whether, and the second one, or. All right, so number one, it says, the future of a company depends on, will that be? Whether or either. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whether or either. 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 I got this one right here. Mm -hmm. What about the rest? Whether or either. Weather. The future weather? of company depends. Depend whether there is an investment. Investment. Uh huh. What would be that Either, one? Would that uh, be weather? No, no, no. Or not. The weather. The weather or. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so let's let's see. Let's see this one right here. Okay, let me send you something right there quickly. Uh-huh, everybody here. Let's vote, let's vote, whether or either. Let's see what people says. You have the opportunity to choose the answer there. And at the end, we will see who was right. Someone says either, very good. Come on, I have 11 people in the class. I wanna see everybody voting there. Let me see the rest. Two people have voted, all right, all right. So let's see, let's see. One person chose a different answer. Oh my God, we have 50 and 50 right now. So let's see what people are saying here. Okay. Remember, what is the meaning of weather? Do you remember that, Ivan? Possibility. Possibility, so it means like C or C, right? Yeah. Yes. Weather is winning. All right. We have five people voting. Come on, everybody else. Six people voting. Seven people voting right now. Oh, my God. So let's see. Okay. We are going to end the poll right now here. And that's going to be people. You said weather. But guess what? It was either. Yes. Because remember, weather Weather's meaning is C, right? So, so it can be like, el futuro de la compañía depende de C, all right? Or depende, like, ya sea que haya una inversión o que no haya eh, un training, un entrenamiento de empleados, all right? So, understand? Yes. Or yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So what about the next one, ladies and gentlemen? Number two. Number two, we have the space. The boss provides opportunities for learning or the millennials will start asking for a change. Mm -hmm. What will be this one? Otra vez la poll. Okay. Free lunch. Relunch, whether or either. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Three people have voted. <laughs> okay, okay. Either it says right here, either yes, that is correct. That is correct. That is correct. Super good. We go on this one right here, number three. You decide to encourage millennials and visions or to set boundaries for their behavior. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this one? You know what? Don't worry. Let me ask you this one in a different way right here. I have a plan B for you. Okay. Everybody, please... Go to the WhatsApp group. I will share a link there so we can actually have an online test. And we're going to see a real competition to see who gets like the first place, which is going to be funnier than the exercise we were doing. You see. All right. So let's do this one. Okay. 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 I will be sending this in a bit. In the meantime, I'm going to check attendance. Please say present if you hear your name. Adriana Serna. Present. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Not here. Erika Martinez. No. Fatima Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Um, Hector Morales. Not here. Ivan Guzman. Present. Thank you. Jamie Escobar. All right. Jolman Giron. Present. Thank you. Carla Leiva. Present. All right. Lucy Juarez. Uh, uh, Present. Thank you. Nelson Antonio. Present. Rosales, thank you. Ruth uh, Joaquin. Present. Thank you. Samantha Campos. Present. Oh, Samantha, you are flamenco like me. Maybe we're cousins. All right, so <laughs> Vanessa. Oh, Erica is there. Present. All right, so thank you, Vanessa. Erica, he says, Erica, can you hear me? Erica, can you hear me now? Okay, let's see here. Hey, I only have Adriana, Ivan, Joman, Carla in the in the test. What happens with the rest? Are you there already? Let's start the test. Okay, we have Antonio. So you can actually use this one. Join my quiz. Join my quiz dot com. Código. One 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 two one six. Erika, we are working on a test. All right, so we have Antonio, Isela, Adriana. All right, Ivan, Joman, and Carla. An online test, oh my goodness. If you are, who, who are you, Fatima? So first yes. of all, you enter your name and then you click on start. Okay. 
All right. So Erica is in. All right. Are you in, Fatima? Not yet. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can see you right now. Okay. If you are not in yet, don't worry. You can uh, continue even though we already started the test here. So we're going to start right now, people. And now we're going to be able to see here how you are actually answering the questions. It's about the topic that we study. Okay. So we have to select the correct option. There you go. Good job, Erica. You got the first good point. Fatima also got a new point. That's nice. Isela, very good. Oh, Adriana, what happened? Joldman, oh my God. So let's see. Good job, Erica. Three answers correct. Answers, by the way. Van and Ivan, good job. Correct answers. Erica is winning. Very good. Okay, Joma got a good answer. Also, Adriana, good job. Oh my God, Ivan. Uh, Isela, two correct answers. Fatima, correct answers. Adriana, very good the answers. Very good. Joelman, also two correct answers. That's amazing. Oh my God, congratulations, Erica. You are rocking there. Antonio is also doing good. All right. So we have Joelman there with another correct answer. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. So let's see who are this one. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So let's have this one. Erika goes at the top undefeated. Nobody can defeat her. Antonio's very close actually. Adriana got the third place right now. Very good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Oh my goodness. Adriana is the second place now. That's good. I'm doing the third one. All right, super good, super good. There you go. Erika is still the first place. Adriana second place. Antonio the number three. Okay, good job. Oh, Fatima took the third place and Antonio is now the number four. Somebody just joined the test. That is one, 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 two, one, six. Oh my goodness, someone made a mistake. All right, so awesome. I have pretty much everybody here participating. Okay, okay. You did good, very good. In case you're wondering, what are we doing here? Oh, you cannot see. No problem. Very good. Okay, okay. Awesome. Oh my good. Adriana, what got the first place? Good job. Erica already finished. All right. So Adriana is missing one question. I guess. Yeah, now she finished. Adriana, you got the first place. Very good job. Mm 
Very good. Yeah. Good job. Let's see in here. All right, all right. Excellent, Adriana. Thank you for sharing your screen. So you see, you got the number one right there. Please leave it there. So we're about to finish this test, all right? We're just waiting for two more people to finish, and then we'll see. Yeah, you can show that one. So that's the test that we were actually practicing, right? Which is part of that one. Thank you, Adriana. You can, co can you please continue scrolling down? Thank you. You see, all the answers are correct, all right? Very good. So every answer is correct. You chose the correct answer in all of them. Super good, super good. Let me see, people. Thank you. Carla needs to see Carlita. If you do, if you answer the two last questions correctly. Oh, there is a change in that one. Thank you. All right. There you go. Excellent. So everybody finish right now. Leave it like that. Excellent. Congratulations to the first places. Third place, Fatima. Second place, uh, Carla. And the first place, which is Adriana. So very good job, right? So that was awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, all right. So let's see this one. Good job, people. That's actually super good. Thank you, Adriana. You can stop sharing the class, all right? Super good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is absolutely right. So you did it wonderfully. Super nice, right? You did it wonderfully here. So it says right here that you were able to, let's see here, as a class, you got 89%. Let me share this one right here. I'll share it to the WhatsApp group here. All right, so super good. Thank you and congratulations to Diana because she got the first place. Actually, I have to congratulate you because the first three uh, ladies who won the first, second and third place, they actually did it correctly, right? So that was super, super good right there. All right, thank you very much in this one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a question for you. Uh, do you have actually any question about what we were just like talking about? Yes or no? Hello, hello? No, teacher. Any question? 
anything that it has not been answered properly, correctly, or you need my assistance with something else? No? No. Are you sure? No, All right. thanks. Is this clear? Completely clear? <laughs> what happens there? All right, so let's see quickly right here. Let me just show you here the results quickly. Don't worry, I'm trying to like, you know, the computer is not cooperating. All right. But I'm gonna show you this one right now, one second. Okay, so let's see. Okay, okay. So you can see this one right here. And bear with me just one moment. I'm just trying to share the results here. But I guess it's because of the time, but the computer doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. Excellent. So well, well, well. All right. Well, I guess due to diff, due to um, you know, because it doesn't find, it doesn't actually want to continue here. I'm not going to be able to bring out to, to to project this one, but I'm going to send it to the uh WhatsApp group so you can see it later because on here it's not letting me share that screen. I don't know why, but don't worry. All right. So I'm gonna share it later. Right. So that that will be okay. So now, ladies and gentlemen, all right, so we are going to like uh, stop right here because it's almost time to go home. Don't forget. Super important things to join the class every single day, right? That's super important. I promise you that tomorrow's class is not about grammar. So that was the topic only for today. So don't worry. Tomorrow we are going to have a conversation as we had it on Friday. So it's going to be better for you because you're going to spend more time speaking, right? And uh, also, you need to remember as well to keep uh, working on your homework. Are you doing your homework every single day? Yes, in the platform. Exactly, in the platform, all right? That's super important that you do your homework every single day on the platform uh, because it's what you need in order for you to, um, you know, um, like uh, get the good results at the end, right? So, and then if you want to get a good result, so you need to actually complete your homework as well. Also, don't forget to work on the test, which are important for you as well, to work on this one so you can get good scores right here, all right? Well, I know I have asked you these questions many, many times before today, but I have to ask you one more time. Before I let you go, do you have any other question or do you need assistance with anything else so I can help you right now? Yes, yes, or no, no. No, teacher. Okay, no problem. Oh, guess what? Here it is. Wait a second, people, before I let you go. Here it is. Let me share this one so you can see what I was trying to show you before. Okay. Oh, it's white now. There you go. It's loading. Be patient. <laughs> <laughs> trying to show you before all right so which is just the result can you see it now yes i see all right so there you are the first three places adriana carl and fatima which actually got this one in something that i had to congratulate you for people it's because as a class uh, in general we got an average of 89 percent at the beginning all right so it means that you understood the topic all right so congratulations everybody else now yes that's all i wanted to share before I'll let you go. So now, yes, people, we can go and rest. All right. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye, okay. everyone. Take care, see everybody. Bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.